But the stratified random sampling is when things are put in order. Like, for instance, the alphabet. If you were going to say the alphabet, you would go from A to Z, not from Z to A. Just as God created certain things, he didn't randomly create things just to, you know, get it out there. Everything that he created, he created with purpose, with intention, and he created it in order. And when you look scientifically and you go back and you say, okay, without this planet, without the sun, without uh, oxygen, without stars, there would be chaos. So this wouldn't even exist or this would blow up. <laughs> this would, if anything, God put in order out there in that universe was undone. It would affect the earth. It would affect us. If the earth was closer to the sun, then it would not be possible for us to live on earth. And so we see that God is a God of order. He is intentional. He was intentional with the way that he created uh, man, with the way that he created woman, because he had a purpose and an in intent and a specific plan for humanity, for the male, for the female, for the animals, for the birds, and in his order, in his divine order, all of these things, certain things were created before other things to enable what's created after to be sustained by it, to join in purpose with it, okay, and ultimately to glorify God. And so when you don't know the truth or the order of a thing or the purpose of a thing, listen, I, I'm going to drive it deeper because what, what just came to mind is even if you buy something from Ikea or, or shop or wherever you live, wherever country, wherever you live, if you aren't buying things, maybe you're a builder, maybe you uh, are cutting down the trees, the wood, all of these things, you go to a lumberjack and you're like, okay, I want to build this. There's no way that you can get the outcome that you want to get and desire to get if you don't do things in order. So if you brought something and it says, it'll tell you steps one through five or A through Z, and it will give you steps and saying, okay, first you put this piece right here. Then you use these particular nails and then you use these particular screws and then you have to do this and the other. Now, if you try to do it out of order, it's not going to look like what's on that picture. It's not going to look like what you wanted it to look like. Even if within your mind, you have a visual of what you want, you still have to start from the right point. If you have in your mind a desk that you want to make, you still have to, within your mind, figure out what has to be done first. You can't create anything without nothing. Only God has done that, right? <laughs> and so first, I need to get the tree. So you, you understand what I'm, I have to get the wood. I have to do this. It depends on how, you know, where you're starting from. Are you starting from what's already created? Are you starting from, okay, anything we use as humans has already been created. So even if you have this great idea that has not been done, God has already created what you need to build it. It's already provided the materials for it to be done. That's how much God loves us in order for that idea to come into fruition, there is planning because you have to find out the order, the system, how things are going to be done so this thing can work as you have intended. And whatever you find, that order is going to be true. Anything outside of that order will not work.